Yahweh can save. Amen. Only Yahweh can Amen. redeem. Amen. Only Yahweh can rescue. Yeah. Only Yahweh can gather. Mm -hmm. the, the son of, notice, not the son of G-O-D. Mm -hmm. The son of man has come to seek uh, and to save that which was lost. Right. I don't see any human references here, Ted. No. We know only Yahweh can save. Right. So again, here the Son of Man is a reference to his saving power, right. his saving ability. Yes. He is, he is not Tada Yahweh. 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 Mati Yahu, 1928. Mati Yahu, 1928. A vintage year, I might say. The Roaring Twenties. Mati Yahu, 1928. And Yeshua said to them, truly I say to you, those of you who have followed me in the regeneration, when the Ben Adam shall sit on the Kisei of his esteem, you shall also sit upon the twelve thrones, administering Mishpat over the twelve tribes of Israel. Here in Matthew 1928, Yeshua says, in the kingdom, when the earth is regenerated, when the kingdom comes, when the Atid Lavo comes, and when the Ben Adam, the Son of Man, 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 Son of Man, 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 man. Again, so many men, if, if he wasn't Yahweh, it's almost like we'd have a man, man cow disease. Do you get the point yet? Some of us are more interested in making our point than learning the point. Where's my water? Oh, it's coming back. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Vincent. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. So, Mati Chao, 1928. No, it is. Yeshua is coming to regenerate the earth. And when he regenerates the earth, we will, the 12th Talmudim will sit on 12 thrones, and the Son of Man, Ben Adam, will sit on his kisei of esteem. What throne? We saw the throne in Daniel 7, 13. Daniel said, I looked up and I saw a man. Huh? I saw the son of man on a throne. Huh? And I saw that man, that son of man, being brought to the ancient of days. That's the man that will take the throne on earth, just like he occupies the throne in heaven in eternity past. Yes. Son of man. 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 Machi Yahoo 2430. If you had a human if you had a human nature, we're all in trouble. Because his human nature would want to go whoring. Huh? His human nature would want to go to the red light district. Uh -huh. His human nature would want to watch pornography. Huh? His human nature would want to get drunk. His human nature would want to have uh, 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 better move on. You understand what we but thank Yahweh he didn't have a human nature. Baruch Hashem All right. That's a doctrine of demons. Yes, it is. A dual-natured Mashiach. 100% Dios and 100% Umano. That's a lie from the pit of hell. That is, that is white bread, wonder bread. That appears as wonder bread with no nutrition, no nutrients. It is void of any nutrition. Thank you. In the spirit world. Yes. In the spirit realm. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Yahweh. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Awesome. Now go with me to Matthew 2531. Does anyone enjoy? Amen. I knew we'd warm up. It <laughs> took us a little while to get out of the starting gate, people would go, and they're off. Uh -huh. But I knew uh -huh. that pretty soon we'd be rolling. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Matthew 2531. When the Ben Adam comes in his teeth, Bennett. Yes. And all the Kadosh heavenly Melachim are with him. Yes. Then, when, then, yes. when, then he shall sit on the throne of his, the throne Daniel saw. That throne will not come to the earth until the Son of Man comes to the earth. When the Son of Man comes to the earth, he's bringing the throne with him. The throne that Daniel saw in eternity past, before there was a church, before there was a word made flesh, uh -oh. before anything. That throne was prepared, and when Yeshua comes, he's bringing his throne with him. Talk to me, somebody, right. in the house of Yahweh today. Right. So far, every time that term, son of man, is used, it is not used of his <laughs> alleged human nature, not a once. Turn to your neighbor and say, not a once. 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 
Not a once. Not a once. Not a once. Not a once. Not a once. Not a once. Mark 24, 30. Oh, wait. But you know how to get around this. Well, brother, he wanted to identify himself as a human being. Look how much he loved us. Trust me, he didn't want to identify with any part of humanity. The joy set before him was the joy of obeying Yahweh, and he endured the tree of sacrifice for the joy of obeying Yahweh, not the joy of identifying with your fallen flesh, darling. Walk away. <laughs> walk away at any time. Thank you, Father. We bought that big lie. Oh, he loved us so much. He identified with your humanity. No, he didn't. He came to crucify your humanity. That's why Rav Shaul wrote in Galutia 2.20, I am crucified with Yeshua. Nevertheless, I live. And the life that I now live, I live by Emunah and the Son of Yahweh, who loved me and gave himself for me, somebody. Amen. Yeshua didn't come to identify with your human nature. He came to get it out of the way so he could love you and love on you. To Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mantijahu 2430. Of course I'm excited. Hallelujah. Then, when? When? Then. Mantijahu 2430. When? Then. Then shall appear the sign of the Ben Adam and the Shamayim, and all the tribes of the land of Israel shall mourn. And they will see the Ben Adam coming on the clouds of the Shemayim with power and great tiferet. He said, the one who's coming after the tribulation, the one who has a sign, the sign of his coming. What is the sign of his coming? Cosmic disturbance, the sixth seal of revelation. Cosmic disturbance, the sun will be darkened, the moon will be turned to blood, the stars from heaven will shake, will fall. Men's hearts, Luke 21. Failing them for the fear of those things huh, that are coming upon the earth. Hallelujah. But it's not the sign of the son of gold. It's a sign of the son of man. Another clear reference to his deity. Oh, Mati Jahu, 26-24. Mati Jahu, 26-24. Is anyone enjoying it? Amen. All right, let's try it in the sound booth. How many folks do we have in this? Three. Uh, that won't work. How about the front row? Anyone enjoy? Amen! Mati Jahu. 26-24. The paradigm is going to be killed. He goes as has been written of him. Woe to that man by whom the ben Adam is betrayed. Hallelujah. It had been told for that man if he had not been born. Hold it. It, it, the Ben Adam will go out and die and be crucified and rise from the dead according to prophecy. Mm -hmm. Then he couldn't have just been another man. He had to be the Mashiach, the eternal word of Yahweh. Yes. Because the Bible never prophesied Ezekiel's death. The Bible never prophesied Jeremiah's death. The Bible never prophesied any ordinary man's death except the death, burial, and resurrection of the blessed eternal Son of Man. The Son of Man, man. His life was predicted. His death was predicted. His resurrection was predicted. The Son of Man. Because it was written that way. And the Ben Adam goes as it was written, proving that the word of Yahweh speaks of the coming Mashiach, Yahweh in the flesh. That is the Ben Adam of whom it was prophesied. Tadara Yahweh. Tadara Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Baruch Hashem. Yahweh. <laughs> Marcus. Yochanan Moshe. Yochanan Moshe. 1462. Yochanan Moshe. 1462. I'm just getting started. I'm taking my time. Because I had no time. And I want time. Amen. So I'm taking my time. I'm reclaiming my time. Yochanan Moshe, 1462. Okay. And Yeshua was standing in front of the Sanhedrin. I am. They said, Are you the Moshiach, the son of the El Elyon, the son of the Hashem? I see him. So, 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 
That's what they were saying, son of the blessing. 